Hello and welcome. My name is Eamon Killian. Um, I am doing a short series of tutorials on how to get started using IBM Softlayer and welcome to tutorial number eight. Um, I had a query from um, a subscriber to the videos series so far on uh, video number seven and the query was very simply, you know, could I show how to get VNC access to um, the back-end software servers rather than using the KVM. So, you know what, I thought, why not make tutorial number eight about gaining VNC access to your servers. So, what I've done is I've started a brand new server, clean virtual machine, um, ordered it about 10 minutes ago. Um, it's on this private IP address here, and I've got my connection to the Array Networks SSL. Um, I actually chose one in Hong Kong because I'm intrigued to see how quick it will be to get the VNC coming all the way from Hong Kong back to me. Um, so I'm going to just log into this server. And we're going to configure uh, VNC. It's, it's been a while since I've done this, so uh, bear with me on this one. Um, well, the first thing we're going to need is, uh, well, let's let's do our YUM update just to make sure all the packages are up to date. As is the first time we've ever logged into the machine. Give that a yes. Okay, that'll take another couple of seconds. So what I'm gonna do straight afterwards is obviously in order to use VNC, we're gonna need some sort of desktop on our server and a minimal install of CentOS 65 uh, 64 bit, which this is, will not come with the desktop um, packages. So we're gonna install the desktop um, I like to use Chrome, so it's uh, very Chrome. I like to use GNOME uh, for my windowing, so I'm going to install GNOME, and then we're going to install uh, Tiger VNC server, and get that set up on the server side. Then I'm going to download Real VNC client um, onto my Mac here, and then we're going to VNC in and see. Hopefully, that will work. Um, this is taking its time today. Okay, so as I said, we're going to need to uh, group install uh, the entire desktop onto this server. That was better. Good. That's a lot of packages. Okay, it's almost there. <laughs> I should have maybe paused the video for this. It's taking quite a bit longer than I thought it would do to install the desktop. It's more like what I'd expect. Um, okay, so now we're going to do the, like I say, I prefer the GNOME. Four, I think it is. And might as well put Firefox on there at the same time. OK. 
Okay, once that's on there, last step, we're going to install the uh, Tiger BNC server. Okay. Now we have to just make sure that uh, we have a user for this, so I'm going to add a user, um, oh, I'll tell you what, I'll make it uh, VNC, oh, VNC user. Um, add a password for the user. Bad password. Um, okay, now we're going to um, SU into that user. And now I'm that user, I want to set a VNC password for that user. Okay, yeah. Um, now I want to... Um, Change the. Oh, I haven't started it yet. Sorry, let me exit out of there. I'm going to have to start the VNC server. Um, I'm just going to add it to the check config so that it starts when this machine is rebooted because we're going to be rebooting this in a minute. Um, I'm going to edit the sysconfig for uh, the VNC servers. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to uncomment this line. I might as well use it. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter whether it's number two or number one. And it was VNC <coughs> user. Okay. I want a slightly bigger screen than this. Um, let's have 1024 by 768. Okay, now that that's done, um, we want to start this thing. I don't want to start as root. Oh. You can tell it's been a while since I've done this. Uh, I don't want to start it as root. I want to start it as the user. That's what I want to do. Um, so I want to um, I want to kill it and I want to SU to the user. The VNC user. Better, yeah. Now I want to be I don't PNC. Um, I want the X startup to be not TWM. I want to start this as a uh, known. So that's going to be an exec um, known session. And just run it in the background. Okay. Right, I think that'll do it all. Um, I'm going to give that a quick reboot. Oh. I think that's going to be enough. Hopefully that'll reboot in a sec. Yeah. Right. While that's doing that, let's bring up GNOME. Uh, sorry, Chrome. Uh, 
and I'm going to download real VNC the client. Okay, Mac download. Okay, red download. Okay, and you will get the package. There it is coming in down here. Once that's down, just click on it if you're on a Mac, and we'll leave that over here for later. Hopefully, our server is back now, and we'll need that in just a second. Okay, let's see, can we get back in? Yep. Okay. So I've set the X start up. I've set up VNC. Um, I just want to SU to the user and uh, hopefully. I have real dropsy with my keyboard today. Okay. Um, we're just going to start it. Okay, good. So it's going to be on the default port because I didn't go messing with the port. So that's 5901. Hopefully, when I open this up, uh, we will have a connection to 10.110.114.130. Hopefully, yep. Continue. Our password was. There we are. Um, it's asked me for the root password as well for the proxy, and there we are. So we're VNC'd in over our private network into a server running, and I'm getting a full GUI for a server running in Hong Kong. So let's just bring up a terminal. Yeah, it's not bad. You know, considering it's coming all the way from Hong Kong, that's uh, that's a, a pretty good. <laughs> that's a pretty good speed. That's not bad. Yeah, excellent. So I hope this was useful. This was a real canter through how to get it set up. So just walking through those steps again. Install the desktop. Um, for me, it was install GNOME, um, install Tiger VNC server, add the VNC user, edit the VNC server sysconfig file, edit the X startup. That's just purely because I like GNOME. Um, it's going to be running on 5901, and I'm in over an SSL connection using our private Array Networks VPN. Really hope that was useful. Thank you very much. This was tutorial number eight. My name is Eamon Killian and thank you for watching.